to Adelaide's makeup tutorial channel. So today I'm going to do another hand look and if you can't already guess what it is, I'm going to show you how to do this panda. Thank you so much to Sammy Tizzle one for sending in your request for this look. I love pandas, so as soon as I saw your comment I was like, yep, I know what I'm doing this week. So I'm going to show you how to do this panda hand look right now. Let's get started. Okay, first I'm taking my white face paint and I'm using a fairly big brush to apply this around my eye and I'm feathering out the edges of the white to make it look like panda fur. I am leaving a fairly big gap in the middle where our panda black eye patch is going to be. And as usual, if you want details of any of the products I'm using in today's video, you can find those in the description box down below. Next I'm going in with a black eyeliner on a very thin brush and I'm applying the line around my eye where my black patch is going to be. So I'm just using a photo of a panda space as a reference on how I'm going to do this shape. Surprisingly pandas can have a lot of different shapes for their patches around their eyes, so just find one that you like and go with it. Once I've applied that black shape around my eye, I'm also applying that black eyeliner just above my top lash line as well as underneath my lower lash line and I'm applying these in fairly thick lines. This is because I'm about to use a black face paint to fill in the rest of the shape and I don't want to get that black face paint too close to my eye. It is non-toxic so it's completely safe but I just prefer to use black eyeliner instead. Okay so now I'm going in with that black face paint and filling in the rest of that shape until it's completely covered. Then I'm using a white eyeliner pencil and drawing a white line along my lower waterline. Once I've done that, I'm applying black mascara to my top and bottom lashes. I'm then going in with a very thin brush and I'm not applying any extra product here. I'm just dragging out the lines of that black face paint to give the effect of fluffy panda fur around that black shape as well. I'm then going in with a black eyeshadow and just applying it over the top of that black face paint to set it in place. Okay, I'm then applying my feature hand onto my face and taking a white eyeliner pencil, I'm roughly outlining where the nose, the mouth and the other eye will be placed. Okay, now I'm going in with a white face paint and pretty much filling in my entire hand and down my wrist. I'm only leaving a very small gap in between the area where I've drawn those outlines so that I can still see them. Then using a pink face paint, I'm drawing a small line on the bottom of the panda's mouth. Next I'm going in with my black face paint once again and drawing the outline of the black panda eye patch onto my hand. It's a good idea when you're doing this just to hold it up to your face a few times and make sure that it looks the same as the patch on the other side of your face. Also using the black at this point to draw the outline of where the actual eye will be as well. I'm then filling in the inside of that eye shape with a very dark blue face paint and I'm also applying the pupil using a black face paint. Now I chose dark blue because I still wanted it to be very very dark but I wanted to be able to see it. So if you have a look at most panda photos they will have a black eye but if I did a plain black eye you wouldn't be able to see it against the black patch around the eye which is why I chose this very dark blue. Next I'm going in with my white face paint again and using a tiny brush. I'm applying two very small dots to the top of the pupil to give the effect of light shining on the eye. I'm also applying a lower waterline onto my panda's eye. This is just going to make his eye a little bit more obvious against that black background. Okay, now I'm going in with my black face paint and filling in that black patch around the eye. And I'm also using my small thin brush to flick out the edges as we did on the other patch. Once I've finished the eye, I'm using that thin brush with my black face paint to apply the outline of my panda mouth as well as the outline of the nose and then fill in the nose using that black face paint as well. I'm then using my white face paint to draw an outline of nostrils on the nose. Now obviously panda nostrils aren't actually white, but this is more to give the effect of a shine on the nose. I'm then taking a black eyeshadow and I'm using a little fluffy brush just to brush up the outside of the nose. This is going to give the effect of some panda fur around the nose as well. And I'm also using that black eyeshadow to very lightly draw two lines heading up towards the eye from the outside of the nose. This is to give the effect of a more three-dimensional bridge to the nose. And I'm also using that black eyeshadow to feather out around the line that heads from the nose to the mouth, as well as underneath the mouth. And as you can see, I've finished off this look by doing my hair to resemble little panda ears. Okay, and there we have our completed panda hand makeup look. 
If you enjoyed this look today, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And I will probably only be doing one more hand look before I get back into doing my normal face looks. So let me know what look you would like to see by leaving me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like updates on my new videos. I do one new tutorial every single week. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next tutorial. Bye, analyzers!